Uh, I'm in Hamburg now, and I've been in Barcelona. Brian was there as well for a Plus of Future Festival. Then in Athens for Athens Democracy Forum. That forum. Then in Vienna for Humanities Festival. So uh, what I noticed lately is there is a panic growing. And finally, after New York Times called it called a spade the spade fascism, now it's kosher to call it fascism, obviously, because yeah, I know that Yanis was saying it. I, I have been saying it for ages that uh, this is fascism. Fascism is on the rise. We cannot domesticate it by saying that it is right wing populism and so on. But finally, I think people came to terms with the fact that fascism does not only come in boots and brown shirts, and also it is embedded in this system. Something interesting happened in Athens Democracy Forum. It was organized by New York Times, so it was a super high-level thing. Ban Ki-moon was there, Jeffrey Sachs was there, who said very interesting things. I was, many people were shocked. Um, uh, and uh, Ursula von der Leyen was there, uh, and I was at the opening uh, panel, uh, and it was called The State of Democracy, the title. And I told them, you know, it, I, it, we are in the same frequency with Yanis. I told them the same thing. Center is taking refuge uh, in fascism, and they have to decide uh, which one uh, they are more afraid of, fascism or socialism, because I see that even though there is this panic of losing democracy, they are still holding on to their Cold War fears, like being anti-communist still, still rules the you know, emotions and the policies of the center. Um, and of course, half of the uh, audience froze when I, when I said this, and the other half clapped. Uh, but the most important thing is, it, took, it, it takes a lot of time for mainstream media and mainstream thinkers, uh, you know, to come to terms with the reality. It took, it took them like I don't know how many years to call it fascism. And now it will take them another I don't know how many years to see uh, how, you know, the crisis of capitalism is intertwined with the crisis of democracy. And also the fact that this is not, this, as you said, yes, this is an old story. It's not a new story. Uh, however, uh, you know, I was shocked to see that how center is still operating with the old fears and, and you know when you know about the history of cold war and the decades after that it is not surprising and it's totally actually consistent uh, with history how today you know the center is very much in favor of fascists isn't it um but then there you know and roger cohen from uh, new york times uh, paris priority uh, did the closing speech, and it was, you know, bottom line was, we are all going to die, like, you know, we are doomed. And the young activists, uh, young people who are all looking for new ways for a representative democracy, for new tools in democracy and so on, they were incredibly depressed, and they hated that speech. Not hated, but they were very critical of that speech, because they, you know, they very rightfully said that we are only beginning you know, we're not doomed, there are still ways out. But I thought, yes, actually, a certain kind of politics is doomed. And, you know, the establishment, the, you know, the center, uh, conventional tools of representative democracy, they're all doomed, and that vacuum of power is filled by fascists, both in Sweden, Italy, Turkey, everywhere else in the United States as well. And I think that panic of losing democracy is already shared by American mainstream thinkers and, you know, uh, media. Uh, 